Hello, welcome to this event. And let's start by sharing a two minute video trailer to set the stage for our guest today. And please enjoy. Can humans find a time when they will allow space for what they don't believe is possible? For 300 years, science has asked the question, is there a field of energy that connects everything? Where do our thoughts go when we die? Someday, there will be inventions in physics and when they do, you will see that consciousness is energy. What human beings think collectively can be measured. We have hundreds of thousands of molecules. They can exchange vibrations all over and around the field. This is chemistry, but it's a kind of dancing chemistry. In consciousness, we can communicate and perceive anywhere throughout the entire universe. Energy increased dramatically. Distance does not matter. The field is the origin of everything. And that's what the music is actually doing. It's connecting to the field. An amazing result. <laughs> what is a thought? Thought is a particle of light. We can measure it. Our thoughts are broadcast to the field. What happens in one part of the field influences other parts of the field in the same instant. And this is deeply profound. The data has even surprised us. We are far more interconnected and synchronized with the Earth's magnetic fields than we ever would have predicted. Is Jerusalem on? Jerusalem is on. We have people from Saudi Arabia, Abu Dhabi, Tunisia, Bahrain, Kuwait City. This is so emotional. We also have many thousands of people from all over the world participating on YouTube, all coming together for a historic event. The peace is already here. Today we will be talking about the award-winning film, The One Feel, directed and produced by Tsipi Ras. The One Feel has been screened already in over 100 countries, translated into 11 languages, and participated in the famous Mira Film Festival and the Illuminate Film Festival recently in Sedona in the USA. Tsipi is a longtime producer and conscious film director from Israel. She comes from a family of movie theater owners, has collaborated for 30 years on Israel TV, and has been involved in more than 70 documentaries covering multiple things and producing and directing her own films. In her latest production, Sipi took a multi-year global journey with renowned scientists documenting if there really is an energy field that connects everything in our universe. We are recording this interview for our Spanish speaking audience in Mexico, Latin America, and Spain. We will spread her message with the invaluable help of many influencer friends through their networks. Just to mention a few of these friends that are also seeking ways to bring content for a better way of life to thousands upon thousands. We always count with the help of Nes Sertu from Sertu TV, Juan Lucas Martin, Veronica del Castillo, Robert Coxon, Lily Wong, Veronica Sanchez, and Beatriz Rosas from Humanos Plus, and many more. Let's kickstart this interview by asking CP some questions. Hey, CP, hi, how are you? Welcome to this event. Thank you, thank you. I'm very excited. It's very nice for me to speak to Mexico. Mexico and Latin America and Spain, so all... Yes. Spanish-speaking countries that will definitely be very, very happy to see your film, which is amazing. And 
CP, we have one question from the audience that has already uh, watched the film. And this is what inspired you to pursue such an amazing and challenging multi-year project? Well, um, I can say that I started my life as a person that does not believe in anything that I cannot see, I cannot touch, I cannot feel in, in my sense. I was very realistic. In fact, I'm, until today, I'm a very realistic person and, and you know, very grounded person. Uh, but when I was 30 years old, I just, I passed an experiment, an experience of, uh, then I didn't know anything about it, which people, I understood that uh, you can say it's a near this death experience. Uh, I was lying on my bed, uh, putting my daughter to sleep. And uh, after a moment, I found myself on a ceiling. And then I saw my body from above. And then two minutes after, I'm in the sky, you know, in a tunnel and light in the end, and arriving to the sky with a very huge feeling of happiness, like I felt I came home. And uh, I, I, but immediately understood that if I'm going on with this journey, you know, with this happiness, in fact, I'm dead. I, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. You know, the, my life is going to, to, to end. Then I woke, woke up, and I don't know how I did it. I just came to my body. It was 12, it was midnight. Everybody's sleeping. And I didn't know what to do. I just fell asleep, and I forgot about it. The morning, the day after, I just forgot about what happened. But there was something that reminded me what happened. And then I was very, very, very anxious for one week, very afraid of something terrible might happen. And then a week after I got a phone call that my, my brother died and he was not ill. He was, it was a, it's not heart attack, he just died just like this, you know, when your know, heart stopped to, 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 to function. And I immediately, understood that what I passed a week before has connection to, to this. So I understood that there was something that connected me to him in spite of 50 kilometers. And also I understood that it was known to my subconsciousness a week before it happened because it was not ill. This shocked my life completely. Of course, I, I was shocked by the death of my brother because he was young, yeah? But it took me a long time to cover and to start my long journey to understand what connects people. That's a very short <laughs> answer. From that, from that time on, uh, how long it took you to put this actually on the big screen? 30 years. How many? 30. 30. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's, a, that's a long, long process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And, and it, it was, it was in fact uh, <clears throat> asking myself, because I understood immediately that it's not immediately, but after I cover, after one year, I understood that I passed this exp uh, experience and it's, it's teaching me something. It's teaching me that I'm not by accident in this planet. There is a reason for this. And, and then I was looking for the reason. And, you know, slowly, slowly I understood that my goal in life, first of all, is cinema, but is to make peace between the ends, peace between the age. So it means peace between Israel and Palestinians, between a tradition and science between spirituality and science between the East and the West. And that's why in the movie we have people and scientists from many countries from, you know, we have from India and we have from United States. Yeah. And we have 
old tradition and we have new science. It's all the time connecting what, you know, we think that it's separate, but it's not. Great. And after seeing all the very famous scientists and just the, the people that you gather for this film, it's quite amazing and bringing from their different perspectives all their insights and all their knowledge. It's, it's an amazing information that right now you have made available for the public worldwide and now being translated into so many languages by now. And you just told me that this coming Saturday, it is going to be shown in Japan for the first time in a scientific conference. So congratulations, that's amazing. And the other question that we have also talked is that you have had thousands and thousands of testimonials and emails. What has been so far your most satisfactory uh, result of producing this film? Is, you know, when, when people telling me that it touched the heart, this is really touching my heart. When they tell me that it gives them optimism, it's really very great for me. It's because I, I, I did this movie just to bring hope. Because I feel that consciousness is the thing that can save us. Only consciousness can save the humanity, can save you know, people. Because we have, we have a lot of power, but we don't, we don't use this power. And I think that consciousness is really the key for, for, for making this planet a better place. Yes, thank you. And just uh, at the end of the movie, you show a very, very heavy international experiment on peace. And well, obviously the, the scenes that you show there are quite emotional and quite touching. Uh, what has been happening after that, after the movie that you can share with us? Yeah, um, what happened after the movie, first of all, is the COVID-19, that's what happened. And that's, that's why we couldn't, uh, uh, the, the cinema theater was closed, so we opened uh, our website. And uh, we wanted to find a way to distribute the movie. So we, we just continue to make more experiments with many, many, many people. We, in the internet. So we did, I think, uh, something like four experiments, huge experiments that involve 3,000 people, maybe more. Uh, for example, one experiment was led by, uh, led by Lynn McTaggart was to focus intention on Beirut. Yeah, it was a year ago. Then there was experiment with uh, Robert Coxon that uh, 3,000 people were singing a song at the same time in, while we were streaming it uh, via uh, Facebook. And then a sci scientist like John Stewart Reed was uh, looking at, at this song, at the, at the, the soundtrack, and to see uh, not only the beautiful shape, but he found the very amazing thing, like, in fact, when we are singing, we are singing to our DNA. It's, Beautiful, what he found. Then we did another experiment with Anders Holte. Again, we were singing together. And then the last experiment was very fascinating. Where thousand people were focusing intention to a vial of blood in the laboratory of John Stewart Reed. And, and it was a what we discovered that our, our intention make the, 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 the blood cell, the blood cells live again, you know. So many live cells that the counter, it was written, please that they look the sample because it's too many, many cells we cannot count them. Yes, that scene in the movies quite amazing. And just to see the reaction of uh, John Stewart Reed, reading that on the screen is, I mean, that, that alone makes your tears flow. And yeah. uh, that, that's amazing. 
Do you have any final words for the audience uh, that you want to share with them before we actually close this interview? I think that I said, what I said, is, this is the most important thing for me, that in fact, really, our life depending on us. It's not, you know, we are not a victim. And the key is the consciousness. Just, you know, consciousness of myself. And if, if we are all connected, it means that if I'm hurting someone, I'm hurting myself. This is something that for me, it's uh, very important to, to say, to express. The movie is, this is the, the reason for the movie, you know, that uh, like uh, Robert Coxon is saying, love is the glue of that unites, you know, the glue of the universe. So that's what I have to say. Beautiful. Which are your next countries that uh, you are screening the, the film? The next country? Yes. Uh, you know, it's many, many countries, but uh, we have an experiment on September with Dr. Badui from India. It will be on the 21 of uh, September. Uh, so maybe... I don't know if I will have the, the time or the money to, to translate to Hindu. Maybe it will be this country. I don't know. Well, we wish you many, many successes in many, many countries and many languages. And we certainly will help you spread this message and this information and the movie throughout the Spanish speaking countries. And thank you very much for your time, CP. It was a pleasure as always to spend time with you. And we will make sure that below, we will send all the information for the audience so they can actually get the, the film, get reference to your Facebook pages and everything else. So they can follow you and see what's happening with these following experiments and all the things that you're doing. So thank you very much and have a wonderful time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.